He says he's crazy about trains, so he built his own in his backyard. Mike Weldon, Portland, Missouri. Because I was born in love with this stuff. We'd go on trips somewhere, and I was just three, four years old. If I seen smoke off in the dish, I said, there's a locomotive over there. I want to go see it. And there'd be one over there. We'd, he'd, they'd take me to him, and I'd look at him. And... I've got that right here. He's invited youngsters of all ages out to ride his trains this weekend. I'm right behind you, OK? I'm right behind you. There you go. Keep your hands up in your lap. All right, y'all ready? Hey, you got to keep your hands inside and don't try to grab nothing, okay? You got to love this. I mean, you you got to be sold out to it totally. Because this is not an overnight deal. It's, uh, I gave up hunting, fishing, and television, and we don't even go anywhere to build this place. And uh, it's it's the hobby that will separate the men from the boys in about 10 minutes. Mike says he's worked on his locomotive for 15 years, 35,000 hours of work. He's got a little over three miles of track. Every time you put a little piece on it, it just seems to come that much more alive. It's getting closer and closer. You just, you just can't wait sometimes to get it going. The work's been hard, he says, but the payoff is great. The, the feel of owning your own live steam locomotive and your own railroad. I mean, you just can't get enough of it. You just want to run and run. And well, the first time I built a fire and it took down to Nashville, we got there at 11:30, and it uh, it ran so smooth. I had to look at the ground to see if it was moving first, and I ran 14 hours before I got off of it. Mike Weldon and his little steam locomotive. We just have a good time, and uh, it, it it was well worth the, the trouble. It really was. From near Portland, Missouri, Ed Filmer, KY3 Action News. Looks like a lot of fun out there.